Greetings fellow drummers and welcome to my YouTube channel Jordan Johnson Drums where I will be giving away all of my drumming secrets for free. Now free drum videos are great but nothing beats private lessons. I teach here privately at Morgan Music in Eau Claire, Wisconsin from 1 to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday. I also offer virtual lessons through FaceTime, Zoom, and Skype. If you would like to sign up for private lessons with me, you can register online at morganmusiconline.com. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy this free video. Today's lesson is going to be all about drumstick grip and how to hold the drumsticks properly when you're playing the drums. So I've watched a lot of videos over the years of qualified teachers who demonstrate uh, how to hold the drumsticks properly in a very confusing and very detailed manner. And all of them seem to have a differing opinion on how to hold the drumsticks properly. Now, I've come to find that not everybody's gonna hold the drumsticks exactly the same way, and that there's different techniques out there that you can use. Um, they're all equally great. You just need to find what works best for you. But I've come up with three general rules that are great for beginners in developing a good stick grip. Rule number one is to keep all five fingertips on the drumstick, just like so. So we don't want the thumb hanging way out over here. We don't want this finger sticking way out here or the pinky. Lots of people like the pinky to come off. We're not watching SpongeBob here. We're not Patrick Starr trying to be fancy. We want to keep all the fingers on the stick so that we can use them all to our advantage. All right, rule number two is to find the best place to hold the drumstick to get a good natural bounce. So if I have a really relaxed grip and I drop the drumstick on the drum pad, it should bounce. Now, this is kind of like bouncing a basketball. If you drop the ball and it hits the ground, it's not just going to die right away. It's going to bounce a few times if it has enough air in it. All right. So pay attention in science class. This is physics right here. This is interesting stuff. And we can use this to learn how to play the drums really fast. All right. So to get the best balance, we want to make sure that we're not holding the stick too high up or too far back. Both of these do not bounce very well. So you want to hold the stick about a third of the way up with your thumb and your first finger. So right about there. Now this might vary depending on what the end of your drumstick looks like or how long it is. But it's usually going to be about a third of the way up the stick. All right. Rule number three is to not grip the sticks too tight or too loose. Now you may be asking, how do I know if I'm holding the drumsticks too tight or too loose? I'm glad you asked. If you're holding the drumstick too loose, it's going to fall right in your hand. If you're holding it too tight, you won't be able to pull it out of your hand. We want to be able to pull the drumstick out of our hand. So, a perfect balance grip will look like this. I can pull that stick out. So again, not too loose, not too tight. You want just right. Okay, so those are the three rules. I hope you follow them to a T. If you do, you will develop great hand technique. Now, somewhere along the line, once you get comfortable with this, you want to start experimenting with other techniques. And you might shift around where you're holding the stick. You might want to hold it closer to the fingertips, the very fingertips, or you might want to hold it further back in the hand and you got your fingers more wrapped around there. Um, you know, you just really have to experiment with it and see what works for you. And you can use any of these whenever you want. When I'm playing very lightly, I like to hold the drumsticks closer to my fingertips, but when I want to play loudly, I bring them back. There's no wrong or right way to really hold them in terms of how far up or down the fingers. 
but you know, some ways are better than others. So once you master this, you can start uh, learning about other techniques such as molar method, finger control, and others. And we will discuss these in future videos. I want to stress again how important it is to hold the stick properly. If you skip this step, you will not be able to develop the speed that you're looking for. So make sure whenever you're practicing your exercises that you're always checking in, making sure that you're following these three rules. I hope you enjoyed today's free lesson. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel below where I'll be releasing free drum videos every week. Thanks for watching.